This video explains how to fix your HP printer when it stops printing, and a paper jam error message displays on the printer control panel or on your computer. Turn the printer off and on again. This will sometimes fix the issue. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Once the printer is off, wait 60 seconds. It is important to wait the full 60 seconds for this type of reset. Then press the power button to turn the printer back on. Wait for the printer to turn on and stop making noise. Align the paper by tapping the stack on a flat surface. Then open the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Close the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. In this step, we will clear any jams from the back of the printer and the paper trays. Do not remove jammed paper at this time. Begin by removing any loose paper from the input or output trays. Press the power button to turn off the printer. In some cases, it might not turn off. Whether or not the printer turns off, in the next step, you need to unplug the printer. Turn to the back of the printer. If present, remove the USB cable from the printer. Unplug the power cord. Remove the duplexer. To do this, Push in the tabs on both sides of the duplexer and then pull it straight out from the printer. Check the back of the printer for jammed paper. If you see any paper, remove it by pulling evenly with both hands to avoid tearing. You might see some excess ink on the paper as you pull it out of the printer. This is normal. Check the rollers and wheels for torn pieces of paper that might remain inside the printer. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search the back of the printer to find all small scraps of paper. If any torn pieces of paper remain inside the printer, more paper jams are likely to occur. Now let's check inside the duplexer for any jams. Press the two tabs on both sides of the top of the duplexer to open it. Remove any jammed paper from inside the duplexer. Once all the paper has been removed, close the duplexer until the tabs on both sides of the duplexer snap into place. While the duplexer is off the printer, check the hard plastic rollers. Note if any rollers are missing, don't roll freely, or are not springy when you push on them. These conditions could prevent rollers from feeding properly and mean that the duplexer needs to be replaced. Reattach the duplexer. To do this, gently push the duplexer into the back of the printer until it snaps into place. If you cannot remove the paper jam from the back, you can attempt to remove it from the front. Return to the front. Grasp any jammed paper in the paper tray with both hands and then pull it toward you to remove it. Remove the paper as carefully as possible. If any torn pieces remain inside, more paper jams are likely to occur. Close the input tray. Tray 2 is an optional accessory. If Tray 2 is installed, continue with these instructions. Otherwise, move to the next step. Lift the printer off of Tray 2.
Look at the bottom of the printer and in tray 2 for any jammed paper. Remove any obstructions that are found. Replace the printer to its original position on top of tray 2. Check the output tray for jammed paper. Carefully remove any jammed paper from the output tray rollers. If possible, use both hands to pull any whole sheets of paper to avoid tearing. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Align plain white paper by tapping a stack on a flat surface, then slide out the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Use the following steps to check for any obstructions in the carriage path. Press the power button to turn the printer off. Turn to the back. Unplug the power cord. Return to the front. Open the cartridge access door. Check for obstructions under and around the carriage. Use a flashlight to illuminate areas for proper viewing. Remove any obstructions that are found. Close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer on. Open the cartridge access door so that you can view the carriage. The carriage will move to the left side of the printer. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Return to the front. Look inside the printer and locate the gray handle on the right side of the carriage. Then, raise the handle and pull the printhead assembly with the cartridges out of the printer. Make sure that you do not leave the printhead assembly or the cartridges out of the printer for longer than five minutes. Leaving them out for an extended period of time can dry up the ink ports on the cartridges or nozzles on the printhead assembly. Use a flashlight to thoroughly search for any obstructions on the far right side of the carriage path. If any obstructions are found, remove them. Once all obstructions are removed, you can reinstall the printhead assembly. Carefully lower the latch handle on the carriage, making sure that it is fully closed. 
close the cartridge access door. Turn to the back. Reconnect the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Printer rollers get dirty from dust, paper fiber, and other debris. In this step, we'll clean the rollers. Before you begin, gather the following cleaning materials. Clean lint-free cloth, clean water. Distilled or bottled water is preferable, but not required. Do not use alcohol or other chemical cleaners. Slide out the input tray and remove the paper. Slide in the input tray. Press the power button to turn off the printer. Turn to the back. Disconnect the power cord. Remove the duplexer. To do this, push in the tabs on both sides of the duplexer and then pull it straight out from the printer. Clean the rollers visible in the printer with a clean, lint-free cloth lightly moistened with water. The cloth should be damp, but not soaking wet. Wipe each roller starting on the right side of the roller and wiping to the left. Use your finger to turn the roller up as you finish cleaning a section of the roller. Make sure that you remove any buildup or debris from the entire surface of the rollers. Now let's clean the rollers in the duplexer. Access the paper feed rollers by pressing the two tabs on top of the duplexer to open it. Clean the paper feed rollers in the duplexer the same way you clean the rollers inside the printer. Check the rollers to make sure they are clean, free of debris, and rotate freely. Close the duplexer until the tabs on both sides of the duplexer snap into place. While the duplexer is off the printer, check the hard plastic rollers. Note if any rollers are missing, don't roll freely, or are not springy when you push on them. These conditions could prevent rollers from feeding properly and mean that the duplexer needs to be replaced. Reattach the duplexer. To do this, gently push the duplexer into the back of the printer. Reconnect the power cord. Return to the front. Press the power button to turn the printer on. 
Align plain white paper by tapping a stack on a flat surface. Then slide out the input tray. Load paper into the input tray until it stops. Slide the paper width guide inward until it stops at the edge of the paper. Do not push the guide in so tightly that it starts to bend the paper. Slide in the input tray. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. Sometimes the issue can be resolved by resetting the printer. The printer must still be on for these steps to work. Turn to the back. While the printer is still on, disconnect the power cord from the printer. Then disconnect the other end of the power cord from its power source. Wait 15 seconds. It is important to wait the full 15 seconds to allow the print mechanism to reset. Reconnect the power cord into its power source. Then reconnect the other end of the power cord into the printer. Return to the front. If the printer does not automatically turn on, press the power button to turn on the printer. Try printing a page directly from the printer's control panel to see if the issue is resolved. On the control panel, press the right arrow to display additional options. Touch Setup. Touch the down arrow and then touch Reports. Touch Printer Status Report. If the page prints successfully, the issue is resolved. You can reconnect the USB cable and resume printing as normal. If the page does not print, go on to the next step. If you've tried everything described in this video and you still have a problem, your printer likely needs some type of service. Contact HP to find out what the support options are for your printer. Your options for service may vary depending on how long you've owned it and what country you live in.